Recently, I had the opportunity of kicking off President Obama's Cabinet Native Youth Listening Tour. This tour is a key part of the Obama administration's Generation Indigenous, or Gen I, initiative, something the President announced during last year's Tribal Nations Conference. It's meant to break down barriers standing between Native youth and their opportunity to succeed. One of the best ways to do that is to have a conversation with these kids, the next generation of Indian Country. During my visits to the Salt River, Pima, Maricopa, and Gila River Indian communities, I was met with an outpouring of hugs, laughs, and eager kids. It's so fun to be out here with all of you and to learn a little bit about your school. This is the base and the height. Mm -hmm. so they can find the, and the answer and area to this one. What's your favorite part of school? What do you like best about school? Recess? <laughs> Some of these kids, however, already have first-hand experience struggling with the challenges they face growing up in Indian country. Issues like family substance and alcohol abuse, domestic violence and poverty, some of the highest suicide rates, and some of the lowest high school graduation rates of students across all schools in the United States. These kids are the future of Indian country. We owe them a conversation that focuses on their needs, their success, and their hopes and dreams for a bright future. Over the coming year, my colleagues that serve in the Obama administration will host similar listening sessions with Native youth across the country. I look forward to joining them and continuing my own travels too as we work to lift up the voices of an often forgotten community and we work to create a path for real opportunity.